right now I am at Home Hardware here in Tilbury. I'm buying wood to build Barney a house for the winter. No. Well, here we go again. Welcome back. Today is going to be project day. Now, we are dog people. As you know, we got two German Shepherds. We've had some stray cats hanging around. And I must be getting soft in my old age. Uh, as far as number of stray cats, is probably at least five or six. One is irregular. He lives behind my shop. Um, the one that lives behind my shop, that's Barney. Of course, Ella's named pretty much everybody. It's to the point where we even feed them now. It gets worse. Trust me. Right now, I am at... Home Hardware here in Tilbury. I'm buying wood to build Barney a house for the winter. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. We made it home. This is what we're going to start with. We got half inch plywood, is going to be the floor, so I'm going to cut out the floor pattern. I got an eight foot piece of barn board and a four foot piece. So we're going to use that for the sides and the roof. And uh, hopefully, he likes it. If he doesn't like it, we'll make it a birdhouse. Let's get started. We got our floor plan cut out, now we're going to build our walls. Our front, these are our two walls. I'm going to build the front, build the back, put the roof on. That's the uh, plan, anyways. Measure the inside here right at 16 inches. They're both at 16 inches. piece here, see how long it is. That's going to be long enough. We can get one out of this guy. Oh, got a diesel. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we did. I'm wounded. Barn board's got a little warpage to it. Building with the barn board. If it hasn't been planed, which this is not plain, may or may not be true.
see how the fit is. Gotta cut a door. Do you want a, like a, a rounded door or a square door? I'll show you where I'm at here. So we got the main box done, but we're trying to do the front and we gotta do the door. So I come over two inches and I come over seven and a half rather than just make it up and square across. And give it a little spice. So I got an old funnel. Let me just clamp you guys down over here. And we'll just... Close, close. That'll work. Move y'all back over here. We'll see how we did. Let's see what we got. Not at all. So the reason I don't have the hole right in the center is because when I'm positioning this, the wind's going to be coming from the back. So that'll hopefully stop the wind in the winter time. Obviously, he's not coming in the house. But he can come in here and tuck off to the side in case the wind decides it wants to whip around. He's at least not out in the cold. Let's get this screwed down here. All right, here's where we are so far. So we are of living space. We are 16 inches across, uh, 17 back. There's a door in the front. All we're gonna do is put the roof on. Slight overhang each side maybe, just to keep the water out. Might as well do it right, but I don't think he's getting any shingles. Oh, there's not gonna be a bathroom, not gonna be a running water, so. Shouldn't be that hard. Let's get to the roof. We're gonna start by cutting the roof pieces at 26 inches for the, that'll give me a two inch overhang in the back and a four in the front. slight change in plans as with every project there's gonna be changes me and angles we don't get along very well at all so what I was hoping to do was overlap it here like I got here and have enough to go on the sides here obviously it does not fit so option I can take all this apart and shorten the width or I can cut an angle on this bottom side here so that'll sit flat on top of here and this side will sit flat on top of here and then we screw it down and because it's sitting behind my shed ain't nobody gonna see it well you guys are all gonna see it but ain't nobody here gonna see it so I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna cut an angle on that and hope for the best All right, design change number two. He's not getting a peak roof. All right, guys, let me explain why he's not getting a peak roof. So, he's not that big of a cat. 
when you put the peak roof on here, it comes up here and down here. There's that much more inside area that needs to be heated by his own body weight because obviously I'm not putting a furnace in there. So what I'm thinking is we put the flat roof on it with an overhang on each side. So there's still plenty of room in there, as you can see, and it's less interior area that his body has to heat. What do y'all think? I think it's a go. All right, so here's where we're at. This can be the top. Now, I am a little concerned about this part here leaking. So I am gonna glue these two pieces together and maybe put another strip on the top there just so they don't leak and maybe silicone the screw holes. Too much for a cat that has a name he doesn't know and just shows up here three times a day to eat his food? Maybe. But tell my 10 year old that I'm not building him a house because he ain't ours. She'll tell you otherwise. Screw holes are all covered in. Mind you, that's just wood glue. Hopefully it'll hold for a little while. And the seam down there, that's wood glue down there. If I find that's not holding very well, then I will uh, put some silicone in it. Just occurred to me though, you guys have never met Barney. We've never petted Barney. We've never even been close to Barney. He likes to come here and eat. So I'm gonna introduce you to Barney now. See, he's just a cute little orange guy. Uh, what I'm gonna do when Ella gets home from school, I'm gonna let Ella get her paints out and paint this, put his name on it and do what she wants. Then we're gonna put it behind the shed with some food and water in it and hopefully he'll take to it. See y'all in a bit. Well, it's the next day. Last night, Ella got started on painting Barney's house. So this is the start because <laughs> we, we know that he likes red. The top, I'm going to turn into How a... How do you know he likes red? Did you ask him? Yes. Okay. So the top, we're going to turn into a galaxy. And over this stuff, I'm going to get some glow-in-the-dark paint. And I'm going to put a constellation in the center. That... Um, just a question. Are we going to put this in this in the spot tonight? Probably not. Yeah, but it's raining. He's yeah. going to need somewhere to go. Yeah. But the thing is, is that it's not finished. Okay. So why don't you just write his name right here? So he knows that's his. But he doesn't know that his name's Barney. He doesn't know that he likes color red either. <laughs> I do. I know that he likes color Alright, so there's her supply. She's getting paint. She's trying to get it done before the rain comes. Because, uh, as you can maybe on see on the lens, it's uh, going to start coming down here shortly. Try and get her done. It's been a couple of hours. Ella's been out here working hard on Barney's cat house. Let's see what she's got done. So this is the top. I turned it into a galaxy. We have these stars. Pluto. That's supposed to be Mars. And that is supposed to be Venus. Okay. Guys, yeah. name on the front. Got a little big, eh? Mars, but that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> and then over here, I'm just finishing up the pink. Okay. And Inside, we got some insulation back there. Some glued to the back wall, the floor, and all the sides. I should have put it on the ceiling, but... And he's getting his own dishes for inside. He also... Yes, yes, folks, this is all for a cat that we don't own and that won't let us pet him. Uh, won't let us go near him. He sees us coming, he hauls his butt. But, 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 did I say but? But, but, but. <laughs> all right, so Ella's paint job's all done. Jen just helped finish it up. We got purple. We got the... Galaxy. The galaxy with the... Uh, Stars, he's got his name on the front. We got peach. It's colorful, that's for sure. And so then, let me uh, show you all where it's going here. We got the back. Oh yeah, we got the back there. Yeah. Should've put a window in there. Yeah. All right, okay. so here's where this is going. I gotta move this big barrel. But hopefully you can all see that back in there. There's that old air conditioning unit sitting there. 
that's what he sleeps on so we're gonna put this on top of that air conditioner and uh, hopefully he uses it if not I got a $50 big bird house I don't know. Right, we give him a little porch on the front for his food and water I think I'm going into the abyss here. Yeah, well, you kind of are back there. If you get cleaned out, it'll be a lot better, but... Well, it's got a lot of covering in it, nothing else. Until then, I'll be back. I just grabbed some wet paint. Sending a search party here, Bubba. All right, guys, that's going to do for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Again, it's all about a 10-year-old telling me what to do. My kids tell me what to do. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you along on the channel. And over there, that's the next project. See you on the next one. Later. If it fits good, we're gonna screw it down. Hopefully, he uses it. If not, I got a $50 big bird house. I don't know. Yeah. I'm wounded. <laughs>